Great weekend for UCA athletics in, in general. Uh, we were watching, following the, uh, the football game on the way home from, uh, from McNeese, so that was a really, really exciting win. Really awesome. So uh, that, that was a great tone setter for the weekend. Um, for us, you know, it was, uh, it was a total team effort weekend. Uh, both matches were very, very different, but it was good for our team to come through in both scenarios and find a way to come out with wins. We love road wins, and when we can get two of them, that's even better. So um, this weekend was very, very big for us to start off conference play and kind of build some momentum as we kind of head towards, as Steve mentioned, a couple teams that are pretty hot coming to our place here this week. Um, so talk a little bit about our Nickel State match. Uh, that was our Thursday night match. I think that that might have been one of our cleanest performances all year, both on the offensive side and the defensive side. Um, on the defensive side, that's, that's kind of the side of the ball that I'm in charge of. I can proudly say that I think that that was one of our best executions of the, of the game plan. Um, we averaged over two blocks per set, which is good for us. Uh, we had over 20 digs per set, which is really good for us. Uh, so if we can turn into a team that's not only one of the best blocking teams in the conference, but we're also picking up balls in the back behind our block, um, we're going to be a really good team and a tough team for, for opponents to get after. So really proud of the way that we executed on the defensive side of the ball. Um, we had four players in double digit digs, which is huge for us. Um, I mentioned over 20 digs per set. I can't say that enough. I'm really, really proud of the effort there. Um, Amanda Diamond, our libero, I think that she probably, that was probably a career high for her with over 20 digs in four sets. So that's over five digs per set. That's a really, really good effort from her. She's been huge for us. She's kind of quietly stepped into a big role for us. And um, she's been very versatile in that role. We've been able to move her around and put her in different positions. And she's making plays in all those positions. So really, really good for us there. Uh, on the offensive side of the ball, that match was really clean for us as well. Uh, we were in control the entire time. I know we ended up dropping that third set. That had more to do with, I think, some of our offensive errors. We were very high error in that match, both from the service line and in, in our attacking. So um, it, it was good to know that that had more to do with us. It was an easy fix coming out, out of that third set. So uh, we took care of the ball in one, two, and four, and ended up putting them away in, in four. So it was good. We had two players in double doubles, which is great. We love seeing those. Haley Tippett is a transfer from Stetson that has done just an incredible job for us. Uh, she's turning in double doubles, which is usually in the digs and kills category for us almost every single weekend, almost every single match. So that's something that we've, we're really excited about for her. Uh, Megan Nash had an incredible match hitting over 400. Uh, just all the way around, honestly, one of, our, one of our cleanest performances, and we needed it to start off conference play. So really excited to, to come away with a win there against Nichols on the road. Uh, going on to McNeese, just a completely different match against McNeese. They're a really scrappy team. Uh, they gave us all we could handle. It took everything that we had, and it took everybody on the roster, honestly. So uh, I was really proud of the way that the team kind of made adjustments throughout the match because we had, it was completely different in that we were not as clean in our execution of our offensive and defensive game plan. So we needed people to step up and make plays at different times throughout the course of that match. And we needed to rely on some freshmen that hadn't kind of been in that moment. And uh, I think that they, they all did a pretty good job of rising up to the occasion and, uh, and giving us plays when we needed them. Um, uh, so I mentioned the adjustments in that match. You know, I think that couple of the things that really kind of turned the tables in that one was our service game plan uh, from, the, from the service line. We, we started serving short on them, and uh, it took them a long time to kind of figure it out uh, for that one. So that, that ended up being a really huge kind of momentum turning um, adjustment that we had to make. And then we moved some players around on defense. Uh, again, we put Amanda Diamond in a position to make some more plays in the middle back uh, where we originally started her on the left. So uh, it was really, really good situation for us to be in to, to, to respond and make adjustments on the fly like that. Uh, we had a, we had, they have a really good freshman that I'm not really excited about playing against over the next four years, but it was good for us as a team to be able to weather the storm. We didn't really do a good job of sh shutting her down, um, but to have a player like that go off and still come away with the win, uh, I think says a lot about our resilience and our ability to side out quickly after we're giving up point runs. So. 
Um, it was good. It was not our best defensive effort by any means at all. Uh, we expect a lot more out of them. We've got a lot to work on coming out of that match uh, to get ready for this week. But, um, but it was good. It was good. Really, really proud of the, proud of the effort this weekend. Uh, looking forward, we play a really, really quick turnaround. Uh, we spent a lot of time talking about that with our team. Uh, we don't have a lot of time to think about these two wins from this past weekend. We have to shift gears to Northwestern State coming in here tomorrow. Um, so we needed to really kind of kind of get our minds focused on keeping the momentum going. Uh, you know, Northwestern State played the same two teams that we did this past weekend and went 2-0. So um, they're kind of on the same kind of little hot streak that we are right now. So um, we, need to, we need to really kind of focus and get ready to go. They're going to challenge us in some areas that uh, we desperately need to clean up. So I'm excited to get in the gym today and kind of work, work through those things. And, uh, and we'll put together a good plan and get after them tomorrow. So in the prints, uh, come be loud. Uh, our team loves playing in there. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun for us to watch as coaches. The energy level that they bring is, is unlike anything that we see throughout the year when they, when they get to put on the jersey in the Prince Center. So um, we're really excited to see what they bring tomorrow. We know they're going to have the energy. So excited to see the fans and play in front of family and friends and all that good stuff. And then Texas A&M Corpus Christi coming in on Saturday uh, is a huge match for us. It's the only time that we get them this year. Uh, they are the defending conference champions and the at-large bid, or not the at-large, the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. Uh, they have a new coaching staff, um, so they, they will be a fun team to play against and a really good test. So that makes tomorrow night even more important. So as I mentioned, we can continue the momentum going into a really big match on Saturday. I know we're really excited as a coaching staff that we get three days to just focus on one team. It's rare that we get to do that. We usually have to prepare for two teams in a short turnaround, but getting, to, getting three days to prepare for one team and it being the defending champ is something that we're really excited about. We're gonna get a good game plan together and prepare well to, to take them on. So uh, we really need everybody in the stands for that one. Be loud, make them extremely uncomfortable. Uh, they definitely did that to us at their place last year, so we'd love to return the favor for them this year. So.